welcome to my channel um, my name is Britt Nicole if you are new here welcome this video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me like talking about different stuff like confidence how I gained my confidence because I was very insecure back in the day like growing up so yeah if you want to see how I got this look and my hair sleek and straight stay tuned hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me video like doing my makeup and my hair so yeah merry christmas guys um today is christmas um i'm not gonna be talking about what i'm using on my face because this is just gonna be like a chit chat video if i'm you see me looking down i'm looking at my mirror so today's look is just gonna be like something natural i was gonna do a red lip because every year on christmas i do a red lip but i'm just not feeling the red lip so i'm gonna do a nude lip which is my fave um yeah so um what are you guys doing today like christmas this is my favorite time of the year christmas is my favorite holiday um, as most of you know, because I've stated it in my previous videos, I am a mom. I have a son, one son. He's four. Um, yeah. So he opened his gifts and he loved them. I already knew he was going to love them. And yeah, my brother is having like, um, like a little cookout not cookout what am i talking about he's having a, like a little dinner christmas dinner at his house so that's where we are gonna go today and yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna um i don't know right now i'm just gonna cover up these marks that i do have and so yeah so guys, um, my birthday is not until July, <laughs> but every year on my birthday, I always wait till it's like really late to plan. So I've been thinking about like having a dinner, um, like a dinner party. I'll be 26 next year on my birthday, which is crazy. Like it just sounds crazy. Um, I don't know. I'm just like every like, well, now since I'm like older, I just get like really emotional on my birthday because like, I mean, I'm proud of myself of where I am, but I'm not really where I want to be at in life. If that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Does anybody else deal with that? Like, I'm just, I'm not where I want to be at in my life. I feel like I should be farther in my life. So, yeah. Also, another thing that I do want to talk about on my channel is, um, like, I want to talk, like, make more videos about it is confidence. Because, um, alright, so basically, I probably make another video talking about this, but I am going to talk about it a little bit right now. So, um, like, I'm sorry if I keep looking here. Like, in my last video, it's a habit. I'm trying to get in tune with just looking here. Still, I'm still getting used to that. So, bear with me, please. But, um, so when I was, like, growing up as a kid, I used to be, like, really, really chubby. And I would get, like, teased a lot, like, for my weight. Like, I used to be called fat, all type of names or whatever. And as I've gotten older, um, I mean, I, I have lost a lot of weight because I work like work out and stuff. I, I was on a diet. I still kind of eat a little healthy. I have my days where I don't eat healthy. But anyways, when I was in like, like not even high school, when I was in elementary school, I was really like chubby. I wouldn't even say fat because a lot of kids are chubby, but I would get teased a lot for my weight. It was crazy. Like, I, I was so insecure and it kind of like caught up to me as of like since I've gotten older. 
Um, I mean, my weight is kind of cool now. Like, I'm not, it's not as bad as it was. I'm going to insert, well, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, if you're not, I don't know what you're doing. But, um, I don't know why this foundation looks yellow. This is my color, though. I promise it's my color. But, um, yeah, so, um, hold on, guys. <laughs> And I did do my eyebrows off camera because I it takes a really long time for me to do my brows. But, um, yeah, so. Hold on, what am I looking for? But, yeah, um, so basically, being as though I used to get teased a lot when I was a kid, it kind of, like, caught up to me as a grown-up, so. I will, I'll be like, I will feel insecure and stuff about certain clothes that I would like wear or I didn't like when I was a kid, I used to love to shop or whatever, but it got to a point where I didn't even want to go shopping because I didn't, I didn't want to buy new clothes because I didn't, I didn't feel like I looked cute and stuff. Like I would go in the dressing room, I would try on clothes and it just like, I, I was not feeling it. So when I got older. It got to a point where I'm just like I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work work out or whatever and see if it like if I would lose some weight or if I would like tone down and I actually did I um I started my diet in January of this year and I lost a lot of weight so starting um I'm not even sure of how much I did weigh when I probably put it right here, like on the side of the screen right here, but I was two something. I'm still two something, but I'm like down lower to like almost one something, which is cool because I've never really been one something since I was like a kid, like small, small, like a little kid. But yeah, so I get a lot of like questions on Instagram a lot, like on how I became confident in my own body and, you know, with my weight and stuff. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Fashion is what really made me confident. Like, um, I did go to school for fashion when I left high school. I went to the Art Institute in New York. Um, sorry if I keep saying um, like, but I did go to the Art Institute in New York. But fashion is what, what really got me feeling confident like i would go out i would buy like certain clothes that looked nice on my body and then with me losing a little bit of weight it also made me confident um i'm actually happy with my body now like i'm okay with it it's cool like i don't feel insistent. well sometimes i have my days where I, i'll be like uh-uh like i cannot wear that but the main thing that got me to where i am today is i don't care what people say when I was a kid, I used to be like, oh no, if I wear this, they're gonna call me fat or they're gonna say it's too tight, it's not for my body. But now, girl, I just, I don't worry about what people say at all. I just, I wear what I want, you know? Also, um, I'll be like inspired from like a lot of people. I don't know if you guys know Candace Kelly. She's a plus size model. Um, Tabria Majors. I like look up to them. They have amazing bodies too, but I look up to them and I'm just like, oh, and Lizzo. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with Lizzo. Like obsessed. Her confidence level, I just, can I just get to her confidence level one day? Her confidence level is out of this world. Like, she she just don't care. She don't care what people think. I mean, I don't care what people think, but her confidence level is crazy. Like, I'm obsessed with her for that reason. Her music is amazing, but her confidence is, oh, my God. She's, she's bomb. So, yeah. That's one thing I did want to talk about because I always get a lot of questions about, like, my confidence and stuff and how I became so confident in my skin. So yeah, oh, and I don't wet my beauty blender. Like I know a lot of people wet their beauty blenders. I don't wet mine because I feel like it takes off the product and I like full coverage, a full coverage under eye. 
so I don't wet my beauty blender. Um, let me see what else should I talk about. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is, um, so before the pandemic, I was, um, let me hold on. I was trying to start my hair business or whatever because I don't know if you guys know but I do hair like I make wigs for people I install them sew-ins color hair and anything I did go to hair school and I did finish so yeah but I was trying to start a hair business before the pandemic or before the virus and stuff and um when you start in a hair business you have to test out hair to see what hair you would want to sell or who has the best hair, you know? And you have to basically spend money to make money, basically. You have to, um, oh, wait, hold on my lash. You have to, um, like, find vendors. And I find my vendor, um, I found my vendor on Alibaba. And I wouldn't even say I found my vendor because I, st I still feel like I'm still searching for the perfect hair. The hair that I have in my head now, um, I did get this from a vendor that I'm thinking about going with. It's an Indian vendor, so it's they're in India. I'm not going to say the name because I don't know if I'm going to go with them or not. But um, yeah, so before the pandemic happened or whatever, um, I came up with the name. You know, all of that good stuff. And then, once the pandemic happened, it's like everything got put on pause because, I don't know, I just wanted the best to launch my, I was trying to launch my business January 1st of 2021, but I didn't want to like rush it. Like, I, I didn't want to put out anything to people. Like, I want people, you know, I want my stuff to be good. I don't want it to seem rushed or whatever, and I don't care how long it takes me, I'm going to make sure it's it's you know is where i want it to be i'm like a i don't think i am but a lot of people in my family say i'm a perfectionist like everything has to be perfect for me which is i mean it's not a bad thing but when you're launching a business it has to be like perfect for you like me i didn't want to like launch my business because a lot of people act like every time i make somebody a wig or something they ask about it like um you don't have your own hair or I would, I would i would love to purchase hair from you because i like your hair i like how you how your hair looks but yeah i don't know right now it's just on the like it's on a hold because i don't want to rush also I'm because i'm still testing out um different hair vendors so yeah it's it's a, it's very like it's, it takes a lot of time because you have to test out hair you have to wear you can't just get the hair and think that every it's going to be cool you have to test the hair out and stuff you know what i mean so yeah i think i am going to put a little bit more of the shape tape because i want a more brighter look under my eyes so yeah anyways um can you guys do me a favor and comment what kind of videos you would like for me to post because i'll be running out of like ideas and yeah so also let me know who y'all watch on youtube like do y'all have any favorite youtubers like what who are y'all faves I'm obsessed with Octavia B. I don't know if you guys watch her, but if you don't, you should. She's amazing. And we're like from the same like area. She's from, you know, I'm not even gonna say it, but she we're like from the same city or whatever. But um who else do I watch? I watch Kyra. Kyra, I'm I'm unique, I think that's her name. She's dope. Um, I've been watching YouTube for a really, really long time. <laughs> like, when I was in, I think I, the first person I started watching on YouTube was Aaliyah J. Because I'm, like, into makeup and stuff, so I didn't know how to do my makeup in high school. And it's funny because when I was in high school, I'm sorry, I keep looking here, I'm sorry. But when I was in high school, I used to, um, I used to think I was the sh going to high school doing my makeup. I used to have my eyebrows done, but one eyebrow would be here, the other one would be all the way up here. So I mean, I laugh about it now, but I used to look crazy, and I used to think I was it was so cute. 
but that was when I first got into makeup. So shout out to Leah J because she definitely taught me how to do my makeup. I used to follow all of her little techniques and stuff. Um, who else do I watch? Alyssa Ashley, um, Arnell, the twins. Yeah, I watch them too. I watch a lot of people. Kayla Cake. I remember Kayla Cake when she first started her YouTube before she like finished college and stuff. She's one of my faves. I don't know. I like YouTubers that like, if you like, like say for example, they post a video and you have a question for them, but it's like a, you know, like let's be friends type thing. Like not like on this weird, you know what I mean? But like, if you have a question for them that you don't want everybody to see and you, you know, you hit them up on Instagram, like, and they reply. I love it. Cause I feel like they, they're not too bougie to reply to you. You know what I mean? It's like times where I got, I'm not even going to say the person name, but I had a question and I didn't want everybody to know the question. So I DM them on Instagram and they never even read it. They never opened it. So it's dope to um like interact with them like on a different level. So yeah. Yes, this is how I like my makeup. I like a very bright under eye. And I like like chiseled cheekbones, like contour, because I have a chubby face. So yeah. I've never dared to chit chat. Get ready with me. I have a get ready with me on my channel, so make sure you guys check it out. But I never did like a talk talking one, you know. Um, let me see what else should I talk about. I don't know. Do you guys bake your makeup? Like, do you bake or do you like just put the powder there and wipe it? I don't bake. I used to bake. I think everybody used to bake. <laughs> but I just put the powder there until I get it everywhere on my face. And then I wipe it away. I don't bake because I feel like baking, it kind of creates like a a white cast, which I hate. I hate seeing girls with the white cast on their face. Or if you take a picture and it's like white, oh my gosh, I hate it. So, I don't bake for that reason. And a trick to if you have smile lines, because I have really deep smile lines. Like, when I smile, it just creases. I forgot what, I got this from Beauty Guru. I forgot who what her name is. But she basically smiled and put the powder in the smile lines. So when she do smile, it's already set, you know? And I do put powder here. So when I contour, it's like sharp. I'm gonna do this step again anyway. So yeah. So, um, I usually do cream contour, but today I'm just gonna do powder. Find my brush and I'm dropping stuff. So yeah, um, let me see what else, what else would you guys like for me to talk about? Let me know, cause I'm down to talk about anything. Follow me on Instagram. I am going to link my Instagram down below. And I'm also like, I'm not one of them YouTubers that don't write you back. If you DM me or anything like that, I will reply back. You know, let's be friends. Let's be, you know, here with it. I don't really know what else to talk about. I thought this video was going to be easy to talk about. I guess I could get, like, into, like, some personal stuff. Not personal, but, like, more about me stuff. So, um, one thing about me, hmm. Um, I'm obsessed with perfume. If you guys want a perfume collection, let me know because I would be down to film it. I love perfume. Oh my gosh, like it's crazy. One of my favorite perfumes is definitely, um, hmm, let's see because I have a couple of them. I love the Libre by YSL. 
that's one of my face um chanel chance it's like the pink one i have that one well i had that one somebody stole it which sucks so i have to get it all over again um yeah people always ask me like if they were if they were to get me a gift what would i want it to be i'm cool with anything because i said i don't bake and i just bake i meant to dust this away before i did my contour but um yeah when people ask me like what kind of gift would i would like to receive i'm kind of cool with anything like i'm like one of the people that are like grateful for anything because it's like the thought that kind of if you think to get me something that's all i really care about but if i had to pick because one of my friends asked me that and i told him perfume like perfume i love perfume i love to smell good you know i love it dust this because i hate when i see girls with stuff that's not blended oh my gosh it, it irks me contour some more because i love the deep contour like i said i usually use cream contour but i just don't feel like it i don't feel like blending it so so yeah so um oh my gosh i have a pimple that needs to be popped but i'm not gonna mess with it i'm gonna leave it hopefully you guys can't see it <laughs> But, um, would you guys say that you put on more weight since we've been in this, like, pandemic? Like, or have you been, like, still eating healthy? I mean, I've, I've been eating okay. Like, it's not the best, but it's not really, really bad. You mean, if you know what I mean. For Thanksgiving, I did eat crazy. I'm not even gonna lie, because I love soul food. And yeah, I did eat crazy. I mean, it is what it is. I ain't gonna lie about it. And yeah. So you guys, I like I said, I did see my birthday was in July. My birthday is July thirteenth, and. I, I don't know I like to like get things early I don't know what I'm gonna be doing but I'm trying to find like a, the perfect dress oh for when I'm you know when I turn 26 which like I said it sounds crazy that I'm about to be 26 but um I did purchase some hair from this girl in my area everybody says she has the best hair you know whatever so I did get some from her we're gonna see how good it is. <sighs> this video is probably gonna be pretty boring, but I just thought I'd do my makeup for you guys. Let's do blush, sun blush. I, should, I don't know why I'm looking like that. It look crazy. But I should make this brush my highlighting brush. Because it looks, you know, like a highlighting brush. So, yeah. I am going to spray my face before I put on highlight. I'm just dropping stuff. So I do have two moles on my face here. Every time I do my makeup, it gets covered. So I am gonna put them back because I love my moles. I don't wanna cover them up. Yeah, 
So I'm going to spray it with my favorite spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And while that dries, oh my gosh, I'm just dropping stuff. So while that dries, I am going to wipe off the lip stuff that I have on. Let me know if you guys want to see, like, a get to know me video. Also, thank you to the um, the new people that have subscribed to me. I appreciate you. I did promise myself that I was going to post more. I don't know, like, one thing about me, like, um, I felt like the reason I, I, didn't, I don't post as much like how I, I did before and I have deleted some videos off my channels because I feel like like when I post like I don't know I just like I would like to see more people you know that's on my channel I would like to see people interact with me more and I wasn't getting that so I'm like maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong but I don't ever want to quit something once I start because I always wanted to do YouTube but like I said when I used to watch Aaliyah J back in the day, I'm like, oh, maybe I should start the channel. And I never did it. So when I started watching Octavia B, like, she kind of, like, inspired me to um, make my own channel and post videos. But for years, like, on my Instagram, people was asking me to um, start posting. So I'm like, why not? I'm the worst with lining lips. <laughs> it sucks. People on my Instagram always ask me, like, what lip color you use? I, I basically use a brown lip liner and a nude lip gloss. I'm going to show you guys what lip gloss I use. Because I always get questions on... um my Instagram about it and I'm just like it is not that hard like it's literally a brown lip liner and a nude gloss you can use any nude gloss you want in any brown lip liner I do overline my lips just a tad bit Just a tad bit, because I already have, like, big lips, so. So, I line my lips. This lip liner is Nutmeg by NYX. And then I take two new glosses. The first one I take is the it's from Milani. It's called Soft Rose, and it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know, but it's called Ro Soft Rose by Milani. Then I take the NYX um, Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. Yeah, Fortune Cookie. So I take the one from Milani first, and I'm going to put that on. I'm going to take a little bit off, but I'll put that on. Then I take a fortune cookie and I put fortune cookie only in the center of my lips. So like this. And then I blot it off because I don't like when you talk and it's like lip gloss strings or you know, <laughs> is that like is that a thing? Lip gloss string? I don't know. But I blot it off like that. So yeah, then I'm gonna put highlight on. Let me see. So I'm gonna use this brush for my nose highlight.
if you haven't already please subscribe like i would love for you to subscribe because i have a lot of people like i have a lot of people watching me but like people are not subscribing like what are you guys doing i can't be doing that I'm trying to see what brush i want to highlight with i might take let me take the fan brush i don't even like fan brushes but I don't even like fan brushes but i am going to use it today we're going to see how it applies to highlights Ooh. okay it's such an ugly day outside like it's raining it rained yesterday too like what is going on I would have preferred for it to kind of snow like a white Christmas instead of rain because now we got a wet Christmas like it's I don't I hate it hate it so let me get my setting spray off the floor because it did fall and I'm gonna set my makeup again trying to figure out if I want to curl my hair or straighten it. I think I'm going to straighten it. I think I want to straighten it. I did put up a poll on Instagram saying like if I should do burgundy or red hair or black because black is my favorite hair. And this wig was red. It was red. So I just basically um dyed in jet black because jet black hair is my favorite hair and i wanted jet black hair for christmas because me and my son did a photo shoot so yeah yeah i think i'm gonna straighten it let me put on my bottom mascara my lashes are already done if you want to know who did my lashes i will link the girl's um name below if you're in the new jersey area hate putting on bottom mascara but I feel like it does make your eyes like pop a little bit so yeah It though because it gets all up under there and stuff you know comb out my lashes And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to take this off. I wasn't going to do my hair on camera, but I think I am. And this is the flat iron I use. It's the um, Baby Bliss Titanium Flat Iron. It's pretty good. I love it. And it gets my hair super straight. So yeah. I'm probably going to add music on this part though, because I don't have anything else to talk about. And I don't want you guys to be like, girl, say something. I'm also going to put, um, if I can find it. Where is it? Where's my bronzer? 
So I'm going to put um, some more brown bronzer on my forehead, like around my, um, like right in front of my lace closure. Let me see what brush I'm going to use. What brush? What brush? Use this big one. So yeah. My hair would be super flat every time I take off the, um, when I take off the scarf, it's always super flat right there. <laughs> it looks crazy. Okay, so I'm going to take my skinnier comb. And I'm going to speed this part up because who wants to sit here while I straighten my hair? <laughs> so, yeah.
watching make sure you subscribe please it will help me out a lot I'm trying to get to at least like 200 before the new year you know so yeah make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram i am gonna put my instagram down below as well as the girl who did my lashes if you are interested and yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys